Eyes peeled, Red. Wouldn't mind all this sitting around if I had a cold deal. Back you on can the ride table. machines, right? We've got a Nora to think. Apparently, for. you're not the only one. But you probably knew that. Tak, všechny vás zdravím u dalšího dílu Horizon Forbidden West. Ten momentálně díl 13, pokud počítám správně. A dneska se teda vrhneme konečně na Poseidona. Uh, zase jsem hrál trošičku jakože mimo stream. Trošku jsem se expil, trošku jsem se vylepšoval. Abych vám to jakože takhle ukázal, tak takhle jsem vlastně vylepšený momentálně. A nevím, jestli to nějak jako poznáte, jaký je rozdíl mezi tím, ale to je tak. Udělal jsem, nevím teď kolik těch, prostě jsem udělal pár úkolů tady v této oblasti a už si to přesně nepamatuju, bylo to tak dva dny zpátky, takže Jo, prostě jsem něco zahrál, vývoj kaveru. Ať to mám trošku urychlený, ať se trošku naexpím. Vylepšil jsem si pár zbraní. Huh. Uh, tady je nějaká postavecká základna, kterou bychom mohli jakože dostavit. Nevyčerpatelný kuň. Dobře, tak si to takhle rychle uložíme. Tak. To je asi lídr. Jo, are you sure about it? I will be not so sure. But as you wish, come to me. Takže nemůžu ovládnout toho brista. Myslíte, že bych ho dokázal zabít tady tímhle tím jakože lochem? Aha. 
Podnieść ty kousek. Podnieść ty kousek. Aaaa! Broć! Jaka to na chore. Holy moly! Hej, nie lubi mi. Nauru. Dobry. Tak skalnie. Kurde to. Eee. Sakra, nie trafił sam se. Já jsem strašně naprdel s tím mířit. Hezky. No tak. Rychle, rychle, rychle. Ha, ha, ha. Daj. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Uh-oh, už jsem ho nasral. Už o mě ví. Lezej, loj. Nebo ještě ne? Tak kde je? Já myslím, že půjde po mně. A on někam zmizel. Ha. To je zajímavé. Kdo mě ví? Teď už, teď už určitě. Zkusíme ho dostat do úrovně těch, těch balic, ne? Nebo jako tady je zakázané území jejich, nebo co? To jsou svině ty. Zamtý hajzle. No pojď sem. Kam si zmizel tam za hory? Fakt takhle nepůjde sem? Na jako vymezenou dráhu, kde může chodit? To je sminstvo. Jest ten behemot, gdzie? Ja. Dobra, no. Tak se przedwieć. Slabi proti... ...kiselinie. Tak, no tam chodzimy troszkę kiseliny, no, do ksichtu. Sakra, au, dobré. Au. Fajn, jak chceš. Ty vole, to není 
že můžu nějak ublížit. To je přesně na šíp. Tomu se říká umění. <laughs> Abychom měli, zabili jsme behemota a základna. Dobré, pokračujeme dále do Las Vegas. Bývalá Las Vegas. Bývalá Las Vegas. <coughs> Viva la Las Vegas! I said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. No. Is that so? It's all a bit bad on a day, isn't it? Ďalšie ohničte. Tak sa to dáme rýchlo uložíme. A kde by to mohol byť ten vchod, co? Toho čo otázka. Spresíme jeden otázniček za druhým. Oh, hello. Oh, he needs speed. Oh, oh, oh. Hajzo. 
<laughs> Fire hand. Oh! Hey! Pravi me. <laughs> One of the Cyclops drones. I could reconnect it oh. with the dome back in the base if I grab its data. So, start now, or is there any other Myslím, že se blížím k cíli. Maybe I can climb something to jump onto the drone. Co se asi snažím, Aloy? Tady. Přesně tady. Yeah. 
Dobre, tu bychom měli teď tady tenhle. Maybe not. Not to the embers, M Morland. It's over. Well, not for me. It's not. Then you're going to die, alone, because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate hung in the balance. Would he choose life? Or succumb to deadly delusion. <clears throat> so, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora spear maiden appears. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I, I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm, machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. <laughs> She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. <laughs> Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? <laughs> What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with the proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. I cried the day that this one's light faltered. But 
there are many more below. As you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. 40 odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show. One unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver. And a true showman. And I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So what exactly happened down there? It was a delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to... Uh, right. Again. What happened? At the bottom. We beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games and coins and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's gotta be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It's like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken, but not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far. And the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're, we're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. You guys don't... We're not... Like... You're, we... Stammer... Abaddon... Complains... He handles them. When... Which makes the most important... How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osserum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. After not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. 
If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Ja, tack för att du låg här så var det. Jag har byggt säkert på topp i I thought we were finally going to get away from this. What can I do for you? I... Well then? I have to bunk. <coughs> Probably get a oh, guess list of fifty. <laughs> so we need uh, at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him. Scrappers up. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. We were gonna move on, leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. I uh, hear. Yeah. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows, back when it was, it was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights, and shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the like. But the man is all spectacle. No sense. He bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. Without me, to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, a dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, uh, premium ale, the works. Uh, Moreland will do his, his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a sparkling with his tails and. I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> it's a nice thought, anyway. This dream of Moreland's is going to get him killed. Let's say it does. What happened? Then, more step. It's a nice. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure. We are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town. Putting on shows. These shows, 
What are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. Uh, uh, Moreland's got the technical know-how. Builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled. Tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> those two... Eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do, no, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city, and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve, too. Right. And, uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. Then, Moreland built that blasted thing. Nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. What do we have here? <gasps> Whoa! Elektrický... A ne, on si vyklátor z behemota. To si děláš, kozy? To je smutné. Ach jo. Jsem po jednoho behemota porazil a vztah mám jenom jeden cirkulátor. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. Stout-hearted huntress approached. Her appearance is sudden as a spark of destiny. And the delve was at its direst. That's uh, quite the introduction. Hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe a little internal rhyme instead. A maiden rose. Very sands that bore our woes. Nah, too trite. What is it with you and all the uh, words? That's what I do. The stalwart storyteller gazed upon the maiden with well earned pride in his life's work. Stemmer Wordsmith, at your service. How did you end up following Moreland out here? Bright-eyed Moreland held his dreams aloft like a burning candle. And where that light went, the hearts of men were sure to follow. So you admire him? Admiration is but a gentle fire. It's the spark the delvers and tinkers and rogues alike sure to warm to okay guess that answers something your friend over there doesn't like me too much the loud one the old bee counter has the personality of a mossy rock <laughs> but oh what a wicked mind for money and a memory as long as life or even the smallest debt uh, by that he means he owes me shards 147, to be exact. But as sharp as he was in things pecuniary, he had a dull forgetfulness for how many times a certain wordsmith saved his hoary hide. 147! 
<laughs> what exactly does a wordsmith do? Uh, like a tinker at the forge. A wordsmith hammers out words to entrance all who hear them. The young, the old, and frequently the inebriated. I didn't take the Osram for storytellers. Well, they say the only thing makes a cold brew go down easier is a tale of times gone by. But it's always best to hit the road before the keg runs dry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why? Why is that? Oh, oh well, the Osram can get mighty agitated if they run out of drink, or if they don't like your story. So you're saying being a wordsmith can be dangerous? Oh, yeah. Story goes the wrong way, Osram will throw stuff at you. What, like fruit? More like chairs or grenades. But the veteran wordsmith persevered through it all, hammer in hand, ready to give as good as he got. <coughs> got here all the way from the claim anyway, past those blasted machines. <coughs> it wasn't by talking. <laughs> Got to go see someone about an underwater city. And lo, the huntress went forth. That a bright epic. So. We'll find a way to get the embers. I know we will. Optimism! It's great. Right up until the point you stumble into a machine's jaws. Pessimism. Like Orland, maybe. May save your hide, but it'll never it's save your spirit. Once again, the shard counter found he had lost the war of words. I'll stuff a cog in it, Stemmer. I agree with you. According to Moreland, the herd should be south of here. Going down. This is where Moreland said that it would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. Uff, tak kam to mam iść? Czy 
check what my focus sees, maybe. Tak co je, kurva, kde jsou ty stopy? the herd. I should have the parts I need. Machine doesn't like fire. Oh, the storm swept up a sand spiral. Great. Idem úplne hovno.
pecka. Vrátím se k ním rychle. I am back. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours. Whoa, there's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot. Near the grate on the floor where the water burst through, it was like a beacon. Or a morning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay. Time to see if this thing works. Tango. Awesome sounds it up. But I'm not the... So far so good. You actually look great down here. The diving mask seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Started right here more than 30 years ago, back when this casino was still called the uh, Temple. One big day, turned my fate around, but now fate's dealt its cruelest hand ever to everyone. I have to turn the lights out one final time, and the waters of my adopted home will at last run dry. Well, if a dream has to die. At least, I can say goodbye first. Stanley Chen. What did he, he do here?
Dobro, zdravím. Ale... Skúsil som to. Okay. To je to lochné skapy, bolo nebo? Co je tohle za vec? Sakra, jo. Should be an access point for the first node south of here. 
See a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. If I can't reach the ledge from here. Something I can climb to get out. Come on, me to go. Te viran ventil. One node down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. Uf, tohle je za hodně zajímavé. Udělá na mise, se mi líbí. Opatrně, svížně. Taking care of both nodes. Now I just need to activate the emergency purge to the maintenance station. Love him. Ah, good luck. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome.
Oh. Hello. There's red light in that tower. Just look at the console I found earlier. That might be the maintenance station. But how to get in? Part of the building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency purge. Love him, I love him. This looks promising. There should be a console in here. There. Draw this place out. Machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. I guess the purge didn't get rid of all of the water. Они стали пристроиться, это были. Let's see if I can 
How is this good? Já jsem se tam dostal předtím. There's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult to get the embers with that around. As the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our death. Já mám bojovat s věcí, co je ve vodě. OK, then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. O, oh, už to není tak ve vodě. Hehehehe. <laughs> Tak mi pověz, stroj. Co za věci nemáš rád? Mraz a elektřina. Zajímavý, zajímavý. Mraz a elektřina. 
Okay. Tak silná je nejslež, čekal jsem horší. You guys all right? More than all right. This... you... we did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little reverend. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Mm hmm. Dobrý, no. Tak pojď po sajdu, ne? Should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. Hmm, tak to jsou servery. Ale jsem už to chtěl. I should be able to use that console. I can't do it. I can't give up on this place. I'm leaving everything on standby. The system's equipped for runs for decades, if not hundreds of years. It's a long shot. But maybe someday 
Against all odds, someone will find this place again. More of all I dislike. It's in wonders. Discover a fortune and boundless opportunity. Make it their own dream. After all, if the city can give me a second chance, if water can flow in the wasteland, anything's possible. He was right. Tak jdem na to. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. Poseidon? To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Hmm. Who's Steve? System reboot initiated. Looks like taking Poseidon triggered a restart of the city's power system. <laughs> Wand and crew must have headed back up top. Whoa. All the embers they could carry, I bet. Super. Tak to dost dobře. a ride instead of climbing back up. I was supposed to. Looks like that elevator I found earlier. Maybe I can catch a ride instead of climbing back up.
No. Nie wiem, nie wiem. Whatever she did, it must have power. <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized. His old Gramps legacy ensured. Our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, <laughs> no. This is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus, some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Uh, don't forget, games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? <laughs> um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. Oh. This delve is a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is going to stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that awesome oh, tinker who is out on her own first. And with my new diving mask, I can swim as deep as I need to. I get those deep water sites I found earlier. Ono si taky musíme fotit. Zmiňte. The fuck? Proč s tím nemůžu hejbat? Hej, proč ti nemůžu jíbat do teď, co to šlo? To je blbost, jo. Tak aspoň takhle, no. Right, Gaia. Be ready. To a doll she go. I see you, champion. Sit. Heard the lowlanders have been fighting rebels by the coast. West of the Grove. 
If you're still helping the chief handle those scabs, you might want to talk to Cregella at Tide's Reach. If I make it out there, I'll see what I can do. You shouldn't miss this chance to trade. I am back. The old ones use holograms for everything. I let them experience a great many things. The holograms are illusions. Welcome back, Aloy. Oh, come back. You have recovered Poseidon. Yeah. I did. There. Let's see what we got. This one. Hmm. Just need. I Gail, be ready. of Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that? Gemini. An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I know that place. It's near the Desert Clan's capital. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport ring. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. 
With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work. I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it. Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher... Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. But to get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. San Francisco. San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone, will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. <sighs> I'll make sure she has what she needs. Oh, they said the Quinn have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. That's where I need to go. I'm back, Gaia. Hello, Aloy. Aloy, what would you like to discuss? I have managed to unlock an additional room near the servers. Understood. Oof. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city, Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths, at their core, have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. So Gemini has two data cores. I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, Construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No. Though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. Ah, that's super. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance, I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... Like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Osaram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. 
I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified. And soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have Hephaestus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Farrow's Omega clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? There are calculations I still must run. But I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenus. Sounds like a plan. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system. Without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. See you later, Gaia. Until next time, Aloy. No, už budem pomaličku končit s dnešním dílem. Ještě tady k spracuju ostatní ty společníky. Tady poptám všech, jak se jim daří, jak se mají. <laughs> no. Tak začínáme s Edlandem jako vždycky. Let's just say here about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. To be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me. Well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer, which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Just give it time. You've been looking at any interesting data? 
I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solly food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, the place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Aloy, you're here. Did you meet with the Quen already? Not yet. After all the trouble you went through getting those subfunctions, Seems unfair you have to deal with these Quen on your own, too. It's safer this way. They think I'm Sobek or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so. Let me know if you need anything before you go. If I get Omega Clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zoe coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. I hope Zoe's not upset I'm distracting you from your training. Yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. What do you mean? What happened? Well, before Zoe found a way to fix the land gods, I suggested that when Gaia was fully restored, she could just make new ones. Well, once we get a Festus, that's definitely a possibility. That's what I said. But I guess there was something about my tone she didn't like. She got pretty raw. Said I didn't understand the way her tribe feels about those machines. Which is true, of course, and the last thing I'd ever want to do is dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Did you talk to Zoe after your fight? I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. Well, Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing, it's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. I'll be in touch if I need anything. 
We'll be ready. Good. Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Any progress with your plan for the Land Gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the Land Gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in plain song, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No. We know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay. Tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, Zo. I promise. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls death metal. No such luck. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? There's always Katalo. Leave a loud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Oh, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. Plugging in that power cell downstairs must have... Turn on these holograms. I'll put frost. Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. 
They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakhth knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaru sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. That sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh. And where is that? Outside. Above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now. But it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakhth have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. Anything else you've been looking at with that focus? Gaia showed me the... knowledge you recovered out in the desert. I am no chaplain, but I'd be curious to test if something I read is true. What is it? The Old Ones believed one could hear the great waters, even in the middle of the desert. If you carried the carcass of a water animal with you, they called them seashells. That sounds... kind of gross. What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. What do Tanakhs do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it, although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically, hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy.
Doors unlocked now. What was this room for, Gaia? This was intended as a diagnostic center to monitor machine activity in the repair bay below. It appears most of the equipment was damaged. Hmm. Old. Is that another room in the facility? Looks like a power cell could fit here. Okay, that console has power now. The looks of this data. Festus has been trying to hack into the repair bay. Ah, okay, doesn't look like it's been able to. Hey, me again. Was there something else? So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest, without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... they should work. Not that it matters without Omega clearance. I'll find it. Just... Try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora, then. That's enough for now. Good. No, to vypadá, že to asi všechno, co se tady dá mluvit se s lidma. No. No, tak když už jsme teda teď v takové fázi, že to vypadá na příště tak dva díly a endgame, tak bych tak navrhoval to, že v dalších dílech se budeme věnovat spíš těm... vedlejším úkolům pro tady ty moje spolu, spolupracovníky. <laughs> a... a potom, až se jakože byl, všichni vylepší na maximum, tak teprve půjdeme na to San Francisco. No asi bych to jinak neviděl, no. Zní to nejvíc rozumně, ale pro dnešek to je asi už konec, takže se s vámi loučím, děkuji, že jste se dívali a u dalšího dílu zase. Ahoj.